in this episode of the Studio Review, I'm gonna be getting seven different fast food combo meals, including the Wendy's four for four and the $5 biggie bag, in order to determine once and for all which combo meal actually gives you the best value. The main unit of measurement I'll be using is grams per dollar, or how much food you're actually getting for every dollar that you spend. But I'll also take a look at calories per dollar, and I'll give each combo meal a score based on taste and satisfaction. Before we get started, just a couple things that I wanna acknowledge, okay? There are gonna be a number of factors that are outside my control. So the prices I pay in this episode might be different from the prices you pay where you live, or they might have changed by the time you're watching this. Secondly, the quantities are gonna change ever so slightly. Like the amount of fries I'm gonna get is totally just gonna depend on how they're scooped. That being said, I'm trying to control for as many factors as possible, and I'm asking for all my drinks without ice. Also, I heard your feedback on my video where I ate the cheapest thing at 10 different fast food restaurants, so I'm taking my personal preference and making it a totally separate category so it won't affect the final ratings. All right, that being said, let's get started. Like any good experiment, I wanted to have a control, something that's not marketed as a value meal so we can have something to compare the value meals to. I decided to go with a tray from Cookout, which is a regional chain in the Southeast that claims to have the best combos in town. For $7.39, you get an entree. I got the big double burger with all the free toppings and then two sides. So I got the Cajun fries and a chicken ranch wrap. Lots of other good options for sides like quesadillas and even corn dogs. It also comes with a large drink. So I got Cheerwine, which is advertised at 24 ounces and mine came out to be 21.5 ounces. The burger was 189 grams. The wrap was 126 grams. The fries were 109 grams and the drink was 609.5 grams. That's so good. Bone apple tea. If you're curious, that is slightly less than the advertised weight. Cookout was the only restaurant that actually gave estimated weights for their food, but I found that interesting. All right, so according to my calculations at Cookout, you're getting 139.85 grams per dollar or 201.22 calories per dollar. As for the taste and satisfaction score, I'm gonna give that an eight out of 10 because I really like Cookout, but I wish the trays cost just a tiny bit less. All right, that's a pretty high bar to start with, but we'll see where we go from here. Next up is Burger King. The song from these commercials is driving me insane. So I figured I might as well see if the $5 your way meal is worth it. You can choose from a Whopper Junior, a bacon cheeseburger, or a chicken junior. And it comes with four piece nuggets, a small fry, and a small drink. I chose the Whopper Junior. The small drink is advertised at 16 ounces and somehow mine came out to be 17.5 ounces. The Whopper Junior was 132 grams. The nuggets were 57 grams. The fries were 100 grams. And the drink was 289 grams. And at just $5 even, this meal is 165.2 grams per dollar, way past our control. It also packs 206.6 calories per dollar, which is less of a jump, but also higher than the control. For the taste and satisfaction score, I give the Your Way meal a 7.5 out of 10. So as of right now, Burger King is the combo meal to beat. Next up, I'm gonna get two meals from a personal favorite of mine, Taco Bell. First up is the $5 Trio, which is a recent addition to the menu. You can pick from a Crunchwrap Supreme, a Cheesy Gordita Crunch, and a Burrito Supreme, and then you get a Doritos Locos Taco and a medium drink. For mine, I went with the Cheesy Gordita Crunch, or the Cheesy G for short, and obviously Baja Blast. The medium drink is advertised at 20 ounces, and mine came in right around 17. The CGC was 174 grams, and the DLT was 55 grams, while the drink came in at 505 grams, which at $5 means you're getting 146 grams per dollar. That puts it ahead of cookout, but well behind Burger King. In terms of calories, you're getting 904, which means 180 calories per dollar. So actually the lowest total so far in that category. In terms of the taste and satisfaction score, man, it is hard for me to not rank this pretty high. So I'm going to give it another eight out of 10. I mean, the cheesy gordita crunch is just unbeaten when it comes to fast food items. All right, I'm excited to try the cravings box and see how it stacks up. The cravings box costs $5.99 and is only available available through the Taco Bell app and their website. Something that sets this combo aside is that you can choose different options for each of the four items. And there are a lot of options. For mine, I got the Crunchwrap Supreme, the Beefy Five Layer Burrito, and the Cheesy Fiesta Potatoes. You may have guessed this, but the Crunchwrap was the heaviest of any of the entree items, weighing in at 305 grams, more than double the weight of a Whopper Junior. The burrito was 289 grams, and the potatoes were 118 grams. And don't worry, I zeroed out the scale first using an empty plastic bowl. All right, here's how the craving 
cravings box from Taco Bell stacks up. It's just one more item and 99 cents more, but it's in a league of its own. It comes out to be a whopping 1,217 grams, our highest so far, and that comes out to be 203 grams per dollar. So we officially have a new leader on the leaderboard. It's also 1,504 calories or 251 calories per dollar, which also ranks it first in that category. I wasn't sure that I was gonna give higher than an eight in the taste and satisfaction category, but man, that combo is just so good. Plus it's versatile, right? You can switch out any number of those things. Okay, onto the ones that I think I'm most curious about. Next up, I'm trying two different value meals from Wendy's. Spoiler alert, I ended up doing three meals from Wendy's instead of two. When I first pulled up to the drive-thru, they told me they didn't have the four for four anymore, so I ordered it online and took another lap to pick it up. As far as I can tell, there isn't much choice here. You get a junior cheeseburger, either regular or spicy nuggets, and a small fry and a value size drink. The small drink is advertised at 12 ounces and mine came out to be 11.5. The junior cheeseburger ended up being the lightest of any of the entrees, weighing in at just 109 grams. The nuggets were 49 grams, the fries were 88 grams, and the drink was 348 grams. For a grand total of 148.5 grams per dollar. That just barely squeezes past the $5 trio at Taco Bell, and it passes the cookout tray by a decent margin, but still falls way short of the cravings box at Taco Bell. Okay, I'll give it this. The four for four actually comes in second place so far for calories per dollar. So I guess it weighs less, but packs a, a bigger punch. All right, for the taste and satisfaction score for Wendy's, I'll give it a 6.5 out of 10. I feel like it's like fine, right? It's good food. It's a small portion, but you get what you pay for. It's a little bread heavy. Actually, I gave Burger King a 7.5 out of 10. So I'll go, I'll go seven out of 10. I'm curious how people feel about the Wendy's fries. I feel like McDonald's kind of get the, the number one spot a lot of the time, but I kind of like Wendy's, like the thicker cut and the sea salt is actually pretty good. I don't know, that might be an unpopular opinion. Let me know what you think. Next up, I wanted to test the $5 biggie bag. The extra dollar gets you a medium drink and the choice of a crispy chicken sandwich, a junior bacon cheeseburger, or a double stack for your entree. I went with the double stack because I figured that extra patty could boost my numbers. The medium drink is advertised at 16 ounces and mine came out to be 18 ounces, which is the largest pour I got apart from the cookout drink. The double stack was 142 grams, the nuggets were 60 grams, and the fries were 68 grams, with the drink coming in at 545 grams. All right came out to be a total of 815 grams, which simplifies to 163 grams per dollar. So in terms of portion size, it's almost identical to the Burger King Have It Your Way meal, just a hair behind. Oh, and surprisingly, it actually comes out to be exactly the same as the four for four in terms of calories per dollar, but I suspect that's probably because you go from the small drink to the medium drink. So I guess that's up to you whether getting, you know, a slightly bigger sandwich and the bigger drink is worth the extra dollar. Satisfaction score, for me personally, I think getting the double stack is a huge step up from the junior cheeseburger. So I'm gonna go ahead and give that an eight out of 10 on satisfaction. Oh man, actually I gave cookout eight out of 10. Uh, I gotta go 7.75. So higher than Burger King, lower than cookout. Nugs, I gotta say, I, I kinda like the spicy ones more than just the plain ones. I wasn't planning on getting a third meal, but while I was in the drive-thru, I saw that they not only had a $5 biggie bag, but also a $6 biggie bag. So curiosity got the best of me and I ordered that as well. It's still four items and still just a medium sized drink, but I guess the difference is more premium entrees like a bacon double stack or the crispy chicken BLT. And I went with the crispy chicken BLT, but unfortunately I just got L and T, no B. So I think it'll have like a small impact on the weight, but honestly, I don't think it'll affect the final results that much. The sandwich is 136 grams, which is actually less than the double stack from the previous combo. The nuggets were 54 grams, the fries were 87 grams, and the drink was 552 grams, which boils down to 138.17 grams per dollar, the lowest value yet. In total, it's just 30 more calories than the $5 biggie bag. And when it comes to calories per dollar, it's only higher than the Taco Bell Trio. Taste and satisfaction score for the Biggie Bag, I gotta deduct points for them for getting the bacon, so take that into consideration, but I'm going six out of 10. So for the results, the Taco Bell Cravings Box reigns supreme at a whopping 203 grams per dollar. Just as a reminder, that's currently only available through the app. Second place for grams per dollar was the BK Have It Your Way meal. Then in third was the Wendy's $5 Biggie Bag, followed closely behind by the Wendy's 4 for 4. Fifth was the Taco Bell Trio. Sixth was the Cookout Tray. And in last place is the Wendy's $6 Biggie Bag. And if you want to look at it through the lens of calories, Taco Bell Cravings still 
Neil takes first place, but there's a tie for second with the Wendy's four for four and the Wendy's $5 biggie bag. BK falls to fourth in that category, followed by Cookout, the $6 biggie bag, and the Taco Bell Trio in last. A quick note on calories. I know sometimes people think of calories as bad, but a calorie is just a unit of energy. Obviously the quality of your food matters, but at a basic level, I just wanted to answer the question, how much energy am I getting for my dollar? And I was curious whether those rankings would differ at all from the weight rankings. And the most subjective category, if you'd like to argue with this one, feel free. But the ranking for personal taste goes Taco Bell Cravings, Taco Bell Trio, the Cookout Tray, the Wendy's $5 Biggie Bag, the Burger King Meal, the 4 for 4, and the $6 Biggie Bag in last. For those Wendy's fans out there, the $5 Biggie Bag came out to be the best Wendy's option, both in terms of grams per dollar and my taste and satisfaction score. Also, because the drink size can be such a determining factor, here are the results without the drinks factored in. This actually is pretty similar to the calories per dollar ranking. It only changes a tiny bit. Also, just so everybody knows, I filmed this over the course of about a week, so I did not eat all seven of these fast food combos all in one night. I know this just scratches the surface of all the value combo meals out there, so let me know in the comment section what I missed and what you think I should try next. And hey, before you go, just a little sneak preview. My next episode is gonna be about my visit to the Taco Bell headquarters in California to go to their test kitchen and meet with the CEO. So if you don't wanna miss out on that and other future episodes, make sure you subscribe. And most importantly, just remember that even when it doesn't feel like it, it's gonna be okay. I'll see you soon.